Hello, welcome back to the channel. I am so excited to talk to you about a brand new series starting this week. I feel like it's been a while since we've done one of these classic studio shots, but anywho, today's title or today's video series is called A New Style of Photography. And the reason why is because you've seen portrait photography, you've seen family photography, you've also seen board game photography, but have you ever seen them merged together? The only time I've seen this type of photography is for like stock photography where a random family is playing Monopoly um, at a staged home somewhere, which is actually what I'm gonna be doing anyway too. So here I am parking on that when I'm about to do the same exact thing, but with a twist because I'm gonna put my own spin on it. And that is what this style of photography is about. I've always wanted to merge portraiture and board game photography, but there's never been a means to do that until today or until last week at least. So the stars magically aligned because on 11.6, I'm going to host my first ever styled shoot. If you are unfamiliar of what a styled shoot is, a styled shoot is typically for uh, wedding photographers. They will have a whole list of vendors, you know, DJ, florals, uh, coordinators, everyone, the whole team involved in just planning half a day of what a typical wedding would look like. And then the photographers will come in, they pretty much are building up their portfolio there and having this whole showcase of product photography, flat lays, um, a couple that are typically like models and stuff. And that's the idea that I'm going for, or at least what kind of inspired me to do this next level of styled shoot photography for board game lifestyle. The other part that really pushed me towards this next idea was capitalizing on a principle that I've always harked on uh, on my channel, which was how do you take your photos to the next level? So I've been taking this specific type of lifestyle photos for six to eight months now. I'll post them on the screen right here. This is my most requested type of photo and the reason why is because I think it's the most relatable one. But I'm always thinking about how I can elevate that experience better and ultimately, I would need models, I need talents because in those photos, it would just be you know my hand shots and just me doing everything solo, which is okay and it works for now and at least there's a different package that I can offer for publishers. But now we're gonna take that up 10 notches because we're gonna have models, we're going to have a full on book set. It's going to be a really epic day on Saturday, which is the reason why I'm also 10 times more nervous than usual for this shoot. There are a ton of publishers that have signed on, which I am so thankful for. I'm anxious, I'm excited, I'm stoked, I am extremely motivated, but I'm also very stressed. Have I mentioned stress already? If I haven't, at least it is a good stress. And that is the reason behind this five episode mini series where I'm gonna talk about you know, how I got the idea, which is gonna be all about today's episode, gearing up, which will be tomorrow episode two, and a bunch of others, uh, learning the games, planning the, the final plans of the shoot, and of course, the fifth day, which will be the shoot itself, the most exciting day where I'm gonna have actual behind the scenes camera designated for capturing everything and anything. So that is going to be extremely fun, highly edited, and just a great way to end this entire series, showing you the results of everything that we planned up to that point. So for all my photographers out there who are interested in doing the same thing, because like I said, I've never seen this done before, now you will have an entire learning experience about how I started the shoot all the way till I ended the shoot. For everyone else just following along, it's gonna be really fun to see how everything that I have conceptualized <laughs> lead up to the final product. And of course, if you are a publisher, don't worry, I will be doing another one of these style shoots, hopefully soon. I'm thinking December, January with the um, rate that this is going, but it all depends on this first shoot, the overall foundation that this is going to set going forward. Okay, so I gave you some background about how this series started and where this idea came from. But now let's get to the insightful tutorial-like stuff, starting with tip number one, which is how did I promote this epic shoot. So before I even promoted it, I had to have a plan in place. So I booked out the place for an entire day, which is going to be for like eight hours. Ended up being about $1,000 just to book that shoot alone. And then came in the talent. So I had to make sure that their schedules aligned. Also on this day, I had to make sure that everyone was gonna be here on time and ready to shoot for the entire day because it's going to be a long day, potentially, at least before I knew who was gonna sign on and whatnot. I had my set, which I used from Peer Space. And then lastly, I also had my mood board. So if you don't know what a mood board is, like I said, for the style shoots earlier, this is what people will use prior to the shoot. They won't actually be photos from the set, but more so an idea about how the set came about. Here, 
is my mood board. Now, the first thing I wanna point out is the color palette on the bottom right. This is so important because this is going to address what colors your models are gonna be wearing, the overall set colors. So that's why this is extremely important and these are the ones that I wanted to use for this first one because overall the look that I'm going for is an airy environment. I wanted it to be inviting and then the colors to be muted because muted is of course my style of photography. Okay, from there, the bottom left is the set itself. This is what I have booked for Saturday and then I have two tables to use. I have one giant table which can fit up to um, supposedly up to eight to ten people and then we have the island countertop which we may use in the background but I wanted depth between the tables so you get nice bokeh when you're focusing in on different shots. We can also move the table around which will be nice as well and then like I said high tall ceilings which is going to be great for a quote airy environment. Very bright colored walls, white and dark brown. I love that contrast. So that's why I chose this specific space. So when you're choosing a space, I would recommend obviously the pricing of course, what's in your budget. Secondly, the colors that the space has. Thirdly, the overall environment, the architecture. Is the environment going to match what you are envisioning? And lastly, and almost as important as the budget itself, I feel like this is key to every photographer, which is flexibility. The fact that there are two tables and that there is a ton of space to move around, that is what really captivated me towards this particular environment. Because if you're using a long lens, can't use that if you're using it in a small space. Okay, moving on to the portraiture. So I found this photographer online. She is amazing and that's why I have two of her photos here. These are two that are going to really inspire my own shots. She's an incredible photographer. I love her style of work because I feel like it matches mine in that we are both trying to get really unique shots in environments that aren't always as interesting. So on the bottom right, you'll see here how she's like sitting on her desk, but then there's a bunch of papers flying through. I would love to get a creative shot like this for one of my female models where we're just throwing a bunch of cards, maybe cards from like Fort, spoiler alert, who's signing on from like Fort or from Root, just a bunch of cards from the games that I'm playing with and just have them flying in the air. I'll flash capture that so we can freeze it in that moment and then have a really cool style shoot for that one. Uh, top right, where we have different hands in the shot. I think that's a really, really fun one as well, where we have uh, different models handing in like cards or meeples or like different structures from the game, the game board. I think it'd be really fun to put this one in as well, especially when they're just sitting around the table. So these will both be related to board games. So just imagine this shot with board game components. That's the idea that I'm going for. And then lastly, for the guys, uh, the middle one, and I know it's kind of hard to see because I use it really, really small, but it'd be really cool if we had one where the model is kind of leaning back and I am shooting from the side and it's just holding one of the cards. And then on top left, a classic dramatic shot of just looking through the rule book or something like that. But overall, these are four creative shots. These are not the only types of shots I'm doing. They're probably gonna be the least amount of shots I'm doing, but these are the ones that inspire me the most. The overall shots are going to be ones where just everyone is enjoying the game around the table, having fun, and just having a very lighthearted experience. But of course, we're gonna mix in some Tim Chuan style photography and get some unique poses as well. Uh, mix in with everything that we are intended to do. Which leads me to my next point. What's the whole point of shooting these pictures? We have to always keep that in mind and it's not an ad for Saturday. It's not an ad for the board game pub for, it's not an ad for the board game publishers. It's just what we do as photographers as a whole. If you go out and shoot a maternity session, what's the purpose of those photos? To get them framed on the house, to have um, family photos showing the new baby coming in, to have them in a photo album. There's always a goal, there's always an intention when you're shooting photography and that intention doesn't stray away from exactly what I'm doing on Saturday. And that's ultimately going to be to sell the game, to make it look fun, to make it look um, like something that everyone can just pick up and play. That's the overall goal. And that's what I'm going to try my best on having for all the publishers on Saturday. Because ultimately, they're booking me for these photos to uh, promote their product. Because ultimately, they are booking this experience, they're booking these set of photos to put them on their website, on retail listings, to sell their product. And they want it to be something that people are going to buy. Like, I think these creative photos will at least pull audiences in, but the rest are on the table are intended to be selling points. Okay, so that is episode one, the idea, how it came about, what this whole series is about, kind of an introduction to what I'm doing, the overall goal for Saturday, which we always, always have to keep in mind. I have five publishers that are signed on for that particular day. Already no one, but I'm going to reveal the rest as the week goes on because I feel like it's, uh, it's nice to keep a little secret here and there and to just keep you on your toes, keep you anticipated for this <laughs> video series. But thank you all so much for joining me here in the first episode of today's series. I hope this is something that you all enjoy. It's gonna be fun all the way around. It's gonna be a great learning experience for both me and for everyone watching. And with that, I will see you all in episode two where we'll be talking about gear. <laughs>